I vlogged the whole experience. We all know how good I am at vlogging. Not good. Hello. Where are we going today? See Hamilton. We're going to see Hamilton. We're online for the bus and it's really, really long. I'm really, really hot. And we're running late. And I'm wearing my jacket on my head because I don't want to get sunburned. I feel like I have to be really weirdly calm and quiet because humans are all around. And even though we are running late, we still made the night for the bus because it was running late. We're here. 
here in our seats. I can't believe it. It's right there. Can you believe it? We're in the last row. I feel like I have a nice center view of the stage because I'm right in the aisle, right? Yes. And there's still a row. There's yeah. still there's a little baby row over there. <laughs> the set is right here. At this performance, Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Oh shit, look at this. Alexander Hamilton, Lynn Manuel Miranda, Eliza, Philippa, Aaron Burr, Leslie, Bernay. I got a bastard, orphan, son of a whore, and a Scotsman. Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean. Da da ba da ba da ba da da ba 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 da Intermission. Thoughts? It's really good. It's really good. I've been like in a lot of crying on and off yeah, the whole crying? time. Because it's really emotional. It's like seeing it real and it's just like I've done my own like lip syncs and choreography to this and seeing their choreography and seeing the story play out like imagine the story but there's some parts that I got wrong because I didn't see it like I didn't know it was singing and I didn't realize that it was the way it actually was that part when John Lawrence died I didn't, that's not even that's not part of the song I know he died because in the beginning song he says I died for him but like I didn't know how he died for him the world turned upside down the Yorktown song was so much better live and I it, it is when I listened to it and that it really was that's like the Grammy I know the Tony they performed it and I didn't like it as much as right now live it was insane and the view you could see that everything moving and the choreography coming together it was so cool and non-stop just happened <laughs> and it was beautiful it was beautiful i'm so excited for the second half because i don't i don't know all of it i don't know all of it i haven't listened to all of it and i should have brought tissues because i don't want it to like leak down my face because my lipstick will smear if i go like this i'm like so carefully Almost unsatisfied. I was crying a lot. It was just so sad. Did you love it? Was it Angelica, wasn't she wonderful? Her voice is so spectacular. I like the one that he. Uh, I'm not gonna give my shot. Give away my shot. I'm not throwing away my yeah. shot. My favorite so far, which is a weird favorite, was Farmers Refuted, the one that me and Katie did together. Remember that? And seeing it live and seeing how similar it was to how we like did it was just so cool for me. It was so funny how he kept like putting the block in front of Alexander. Like the way they played together was really fun. Uh, I'm loving it so much. Who's your favorite character so far? I like Alexander. My favorite is Angelica. Angelica! I also love seeing King George perform his songs live. It's interesting, there's not much choreography going on, but it's nice to see the way he plays the words that he says. When Alexander was like, I was invited to the Constitutional Convention, it was so cute how he did it live. Like, I always love it in the song, I think it's funny how he like fangirls over it, but IRL is even better. in snot and it's disgusting because I did not bring tissues. It was like clockwork princess on the plane all over again except I had no sweatshirt. So I was just like, my hands were covered in snot. It's disgusting. I had never heard like that whole last half. The sadness. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Sure was pretty good, man. That song was so good. The box. This is so cool. I think so. Sir? It's like we're getting a tour on the way out here. Look at this view. Wow. Can you imagine watching from here? That's crazy. You can almost see their faces from the top, which was it wasn't bad at all. Oh, you should have put your glasses on. Oh my god. This one is crazy. Yeah, you don't see the choreography as much, but you see their expressions more. Wow. This one is great. Look at people just walking on the stage. Dear Mr. Jefferson, it's quiet uptown. We saw the most exciting musical of the decade. We're currently by the stage door and we're finally at an angle where you can see 
the Hamilton sign. So my camera's gonna die, but we're on our way home. I can't believe we saw Hamilton. Yay! We saw the most exciting musical in years, says the Wall Street Journal. How do you feel about that, Mom? It was really good. On a one to 10 scale, what would you rate it? Very entertaining. But what, one uh, to 10 scale? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Nine. 10. I didn't really like what did I miss like originally but I it grew on me and now after seeing the performance of Jefferson I love it it was so funny he was great wasn't the actor great, was great yeah. he was so funny all hip -hop oh my god it was so funny seeing him like bounce around like hip -hop guy with crazy hair. he's Lafayette did you know that's the same actor I like Lafayette I don't know the, no Lafayette and him are the same actor oh really yeah he plays Lafayette in the second half I don't half. know um, that Alexander is my favorite character anymore, by the way. Well, Alexander is a troubled person. He's flawed. I, I, he he I did a lot for our country. Aaron Burr, sir, he killed him. Lafayette. And you like Lafayette? Lafayette is great. I also really liked In the Room Where It Happens. Aaron Burr was fantastic yeah. in that scene. Oh, yeah. oh my God, I don't like that song much on the soundtrack, and now I like it, it so much like more. So moving. Yeah, yeah, it changed my yeah. opinion. Also, In the Room Where It Happened, like it's hard. Dramatic. It's dramatic. It's hard to really understand without seeing it all go down. I feel like. Now I feel like I have a better understanding and of that you'll scene. It when you listen. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so good. I can't, like, I didn't know all that stuff about Philippa. I'm sorry, not Philippa. Eliza, that's the actress who plays her. Like, how she did all that stuff for Alex. And the whole thing about the Founding Fathers and how everyone's story is told, but not Alex's. And it just was really moving. I had, like, all the tears dripping down my face. Yes, she cried multiple times. I cried a lot at the end. I The deaths really hit me. Like, that scene where the son died and the, he was just like, it's quiet up. Town. It's his fault. I mean, I know. That's why he was another reason why yeah. he was very, he was very upset. upset. Okay, so I'm back in the car. If you haven't listened to Hamilton yet and you're watching this, I stand by the way that I listened to Hamilton. I don't know. I loved it that I, I cared so much about it, but it's like I loved this book and I hadn't read the last five chapters and I kept rereading it and loving it and not reading the last five chapters and I finally read them and so I was able to have such an emotional response to the end of the story because I knew it so much and loved it so much but I I wasn't immune to it because I had listened to it so much. Does that make sense? And I know you probably have this experience if you listen through the album like, I don't know, multiple times. I feel like the first time I listened to it, I wouldn't have this emotional experience because I wouldn't be as invested as I am now. I don't know. I just, I, I love that I had it listened to the last few songs. It's quiet uptown. Got to me so hard. Okay, this section. So I stopped listening after Burn. That was my last song that I've listened to on the soundtrack. I love the place so much. And I, if I had the opportunity to see it again, I definitely would. Thank you for taking me, mommy. You're this was time. my birthday present yeah, and I loved it. I didn't read the book. It wasn't as emotional for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, and it, I'm not, you know, when I'm saying read the book, I mean, I listened to it a lot of times beforehand. And I like really invested in the characters. Mm -hmm. If you had to play a character, who would you want to play? Oh my goodness, really? I think I might want to play I like a, Raphael, George Raphael. Washington or Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr had a good part. Aaron Burr had a fun part. Yeah. Poor Aaron Burr. I, I really liked like seeing how much, you know, Aaron Burr knew he made a mistake in killing Hamilton. Oh. Seeing him die was just, it was so sad. Everything was so sad. I hadn't experienced this sadness that everyone speaks of at the end of Hamilton. And I, I'm really happy I experienced it for the first time live with everything and the images and the choreography and the actors like seeing the actors is different from just hearing it <laughs> anyway we're gonna go get dinner and i hope you enjoyed this vlog i will probably maybe add a little bit more at the end of this but i'm christine i make videos every tuesday i'll see you guys next time bye, bye. Oh, what I forgot to say. <laughs> we said goodbye. I forgot that I really wanted to talk about um, the Reynolds pamphlet in the, live. Um, the imagery of all the pamphlets being thrown on Hamilton while he just has to sit there and take it as everyone around him, you know, reacts to the situation was 
uh, it was beautiful and on point and I loved it. It just, I wanted to take a billion pictures of as they like flowed down around him in such a gorgeous array. Like how did they, did they have to practice throwing the papers? I'm sure they did to get them to like float just right all around him. It, God, it was gorgeous. Uh, the one song that I feel like I would have liked a little bit of more movement in choreography was Burn. Because, I don't know, I, I've imagined that song a little differently than how she sang it. She just like sat, it was like a very emotional song. But I wanted her to like get up and be angry and throw stuff. But she she was angry, just she didn't throw stuff. It was good. It was good, it was good. I just she like... Was stunned. She was she, I know, shocked. I know, I know. It's not going to be choreography when she's in shock. I know, no, I didn't mean choreography, sorry, I meant movement. Not choreography, like she just like stood still the whole time. She was I would have liked her to like kind of walk around a little bit more. Um, but it was still wonderful. In composed, my she was composed. Yeah, she has her shit together, Eliza. Mm -hmm. I also, I didn't know that Hercules Mulligan also plays James Madison. And I thought James Madison's character was so funny. He kind of just like hid behind Thomas Jefferson all the time. And like Thomas Jefferson would say something and Th James Madison would be like, yeah, like behind him all the time. And it was hilarious. Like their dynamic was really fun. I knew because I was spoiled by history and by people being like, Christine, it's history that Aaron Burr shot Hamilton, that Aaron Burr shot Hamilton in a duel. But I don't really remember that from history. I remember the National Bank, set up our first National Bank. Anyway, I didn't know why he did it. And then it all clicked. And I, because Hamilton endorsed Jefferson, that triggered everything. I can't believe that. Why did he do it? He for never anything. stood up for anything. Yeah. Even when he believed in something, right. he wouldn't stand up for it. Right. And Jefferson did. He had strong beliefs and strong ideas. The cabinet battles were so much better to me in person than I had imagined them in my head. I don't know, they were just so much fun. It was so fun to hear the audience's reaction to all the different turns and see George Washington hosting it. Oh look, it was so good. But also, I wanted to say that the rotating circle on the floor was so cool. And and you know that line in the Hamilton parody when they rotate in a line? Like they do that multiple times and it works really well because they have a rotating circle helping them rotate in the line. And no person has to like sprint from one end to the other like Katie had to in our version of the book Doom Sisters. Yeah, I'm scrappy and hungry and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Oops, oops, oops. Farmers Reputed. I still think this is like one of my favorite songs that they did. It's so simple and that's why I like it. It's underestimated. No one ever talks about it. I feel very connected to it because I did that first Hamilton lip sync with Katie to it and it was so much fun and we practiced it like a gajillion times and I'll link it in the description if you want to watch it. I love seeing John Lawrence because I feel like as a character in the soundtrack, I don't really see him much, but in the play, he was much more present to me. I can't get over how annoying it is that everyone felt the need to duel about any issues they had with each other. Like, this is not necessary. Why are you risking your life to punish this guy? That's not cool. It's not cool at all. Especially when it kills Hamilton. Stop. I can't believe Hamilton got in another duel. Didn't he learn? Didn't Aaron Burr learn from himself when he was like, we both know that this is stupid. You're gonna follow your own advice. Let Hamilton get to you. Gotta say, I did gain more respect for Burr watching the play. Like, I already had respect for Burr, but like, I respect him more after seeing the play. Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow federalists would like to know how you'd be voting. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. <gasps> oh, I'm just, I'm so happy and grateful that I got to see Hamilton. It was such a wonderful experience. I really hope you get to see it. If you haven't seen it yet, if you have seen it yet, I'd love to know what your favorite part of actually seeing it live versus listening to the soundtrack was. Which song was your favorite? And if anything really changed for you when you saw it live versus listening to it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.